It's a name we've heard all season, but the unstoppable force of today's Hawkeye offense was once again, Caleb Johnson. Caleb, you did it again. <laughs> In a somewhat unpredictable offense, Caleb Johnson's ability to move the ball remains consistent. Johnson continued his touchdown streak on Saturday along with 21 carries, 3 catches, and 188 total yards. Although Hawkeye fans continue to be impressed by the running back's performance, his teammates and coaches see it from him every day during practices. And, and he's done some good things over the last couple of years, but the consistency right now and not, not only what you see on the game field, but the way he prepares, the way he practices, he's doing a really good job. Johnson has a total of 937 yards at the midpoint of the season, making people believe that he might be a potential Heisman Trophy contender. But Johnson will have to maintain that consistency in the upcoming six games for that to stand true. And with the help of Johnson and this offense, Kirk Ferentz has reached his 200th win at Iowa. 26 seasons and 200 career wins at the same university is a milestone that few coaches reach. But Kirk Ferentz attributes it all to his players. Let, let's be clear, if, if we didn't win, I wouldn't be here right now. So that's just how it works, and it, it always has. And in turn, Kirk's players and colleagues attribute it all to Kirk. Think about those moments, 200 moments for all those student athletes. Um, and all of us fans that have lived those. Um, I mean, it's for me, it's a true honor to be a part of a team um, coached by Coach Ferentz, let alone um, just a really monumental milestone like that. Despite the major accomplishment, Ferentz is still focused on the current standings of his team. I mean, the honest answer is like I was really more focused on us getting four. I uh, didn't want to think about being at three and three right now. And that's, that's you know, it's just how it works in season. The Hawkeyes said their goal now is 300 for Kirk Ferentz. But we'll see if they move toward that goal next week in East Lansing. From Kinnick Stadium, Tar Gillespie, DI TV Sports.